Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I already told you PND people. UPND is a party that came into power because people believed them and they came into power not as a party it's a it's a it's a it's a government that was formed by the people because there were people that spoke messages to the people and people listened to those messages and obeyed those messages. And there are people that fought tirelessly to deliver those messages. Our first fight was to bring in UPND government. Our first fight was to bring in UPND government to remove PF from power. And personally to me, I thought the fight ended there. Because I believe that we are dealing with people that have conscience. I really didn't need to come out here and tell President H or UPND people to empower their people. I really, I, it was not necessary because that's the right thing to do that is the right thing to do and uh, I have said between now to January if I don't see changes we helped to build UPND we are going to help to destroy it I don't care who is around the president telling the president, eh, see a one, one to ten against you. See a one, eh, see a one is this. See a one is that. See a one is working with PF. I don't care about all those. I don't have time to defend myself on those things. I have said and I have given a time frame. I said from now to January, people that suffered for the party must be empowered. I've said it. I don't I don't care what anybody is saying about me we have seen those things before I mean we we have people have insulted us before people have called us name before campion go said so many things about me uh, uh, Bowman Lusambo. I mean, there are people who held serious position. The Minister of Religious Affairs, these guys, they were so big, you know, they said a lot of things about me. And uh, at the end of the day, we saw the result. There was even people who were telling Eddie Galungu to say, see, I want to say nobody, it's just ranting. <laughs> But uh, I said, okay, when the results come, we are going to know who is somebody and who is a nobody. And even today, I know there are people who are telling HH, no, CIA1 will not do anything. We shall see in January. We shall see how it goes. I am fighting because I love the party. I don't want the party to be destroyed the way it's been destroyed by greediness. It is a party that I fought for with my blood. It's like a trophy to me. It's a baby to me. I don't want to destroy it. I don't want us to destroy it. But we are going to destroy it come January if things remain the same. And it's very simple. It's one broadcast on that big page. UPND is going to crush. PF was so big, like I, I always say, PF was loved by the people. Let me give you an, an example of what happened in 2021, and then we proceed. PF is a party that uh, 
was married to the people of Zambia. And the people of Zambia was the husband to PF. They loved the PF so much, including I myself. And I'm not going to come and lie to people. I benefited a lot from PF. A lot. A lot and a lot, which I even said openly in one of my broadcasts. I benefited a lot, you know. What PF did for me, I cannot forget it. Sapa gave me a lot of opportunities. When Eddie Galungu came into power, he also gave me a lot of opportunities. But, you know, as time, one of, in if you go to Zamtel today, majority of those people who were working there, are, we are coming from me. So this, the, I was honored so much by, by PF government. But Eddie Galungu was uh, somehow def uh, cheated to say, no, <laughs> see, I want, cannot do anything. And, and we left him like that. But anyway, where is it today? They honored me. They did very well. People of Zambia loved them so much, PF. They were a wife to the people of Zambia. But they started misbehaving. All of a sudden, things changed. They brought in people from MMD. The same people that were removed from power. You see, when you take over power, you take you become stupid. When you take over power, you become stupid. And don't allow that stupidity to lead you. You must always go back to where you are coming from and ask the people from the ground, am I doing the right thing or am I not doing the right thing? When people were flocking from MMD going to... Uh, PF. I was saying, I was, I was telling the, the, the PF party, that, why are you bringing this guy? This guy, they are coming to corrupt you. These guys, they are coming to change things. You know, they are coming to scatter the party. They didn't listen to me. They continued. They brought in Dora Celia and gave her a minister. They brought in Boman Lusambo and gave her a minister. So many of them. And the party started crumbling. I was telling them, this is not the right thing. You have forgotten the, the owners of this party, the people that sacrificed for this party. You have forgotten them. You have embraced new people. They didn't listen to me. Things were going wrong. I was always complaining to PF. It's a party that I loved because I used my church to campaign for them. I am the one who was doing a lot. I don't want to go back because we have spoken about those things before. But you know, watching it die like this became a problem. But the more I spoke to them about it, instead of listening to me, they turned around and became my enemies. And all of a sudden, they deported me from Zambia. And almost everything that I benefited from them, I lost, I lost them there. <laughs> and I myself, together with so many uh, Zambians who, are, who, are, who were aggrieved, started looking for another option. That's how we found the UPND. And when we found the UPND, when you marry to a wife and your wife misbehaves, you want your wife to misbehave, you want your wife to misbehave, you look for another wife. <laughs> so, people of Zambia married to UPND because the love, they are, the love of their life PF disappointed them, including myself. And UPND must now understand to say, okay, this love that we found with the people of Zambia is not a love that just, it's not a love that uh, started from the beginning because we were there 20 years ago, they didn't love us. Upon all the whole manifesto, all the whole campaign, they didn't love us. What can we do now to, to actually solidify this love? That is the question that UPND must ask themselves. That is the question that the president must ask himself. What must we do now for these people to love us? If you are a party in government and your, and your members are complaining, things are not okay. 2021 election, Edgar Lungu won 
uh, uh, got got 1.8 million votes and those votes were given to him by stubborn pf members and those 1.8 million are still in pf today they are not shaking you see me what i tell you take it serious pf still has 1.8 million people that will vote for them even if you call for election today in fact with the momentum that they are gaining now there is fear pf still has those guys went ahead and voted for pf after all the police brutality all the killings all the corruption after all the things that we said 1.8 million people voted for for pf and as we speak today they are still there they still want to vote they are still going to vote because they are committed members when i was giving uh, providing a, a, a advice for uh, president sata and the pf then i told them that when you win election make sure that your members occupy the market occupy everywhere once you empower your member it will be difficult for them to be disloyal to you and that's what happened as we speak today if you go to cheston market most of those slots those women that sell in those market are pf cadres. up to today they are still pf cadres. they have not changed if you go to Kanyama market, if you go to anywhere you see market, go. The slots we are giving to PF members and they are still holding on to it. That's why it's difficult to dismantle them. They are still in charge and, and they are still very powerful. In fact, they are more organized than the UPN, the, the party that is in government. You can just see on the day of celebration, um, Independence Day celebration, you can see how neat and powerful they dressed. You can't believe the the wearing nice chitenges, nice nice white shirts, looking very neat. And then, and formidable and well organized, like they know what they are doing because they are still intact. They are not suffering. Well, now look at our own people, <laughs> our own uh, members. <laughs> Uh, see how we see how we dress that day you can see that <laughs> we are in trouble <laughs> see our dress code just see our dress code how go back and watch those videos see our coordination <laughs> when pf is campaigning just see the kind of quality clothes they are wearing quality things that you know that's why it's difficult to convince those guys to leave their party <laughs> They are holding on to market. All the slots are still there. <laughs> Those days, I, you know, when you go to a chest on market to say, I want a slot, they will ask you, bring your membership card. All those things are occupied by PF. And up to today, they still have it. Because by the grace of God, you know, God has given uh, the, the people of Zambia a president that is a one Zambia, one nation. <laughs> so PF is still holding on to PF is still holding on to those positions. <laughs> they are still holding on to it. So PF is still powerful. <laughs> See the Akadas. <laughs> they are still doing very well. The contract they had they were afraid that they would be terminated they are still having they are in charge of mines you know they are in charge of jerabos <laughs> when you see them and then you see upnd kada uh, 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 let me even give you an example when you see somebody like max chungo you use him now to compare to general mosquito <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Chinek, you know, <laughs> you PND they really need to wake up, you know. This is not a a church <laughs> or a business. This is this is politics. <laughs> they must learn politics. If not, things are not okay. You know, when somebody comment here and says, see one, why are people leaving UPND? Why are people not going to leave? 
that other woman who who was nearly killed by PF, Mama Chico Meka, or what, what, what? Uh, where she has left. <laughs> she was crying. <laughs> I tried my best to say, stay, stay, stay. She has left. <laughs> you, you know, when you look at it, people in PF are even doing better. They wear better clothes, even in campaign. They, they are neat. Our, on our own side, look at us. <laughs> look at us when you see us you can see now that you know so that's why people are living so i'm trying to say upnd must not take the love that upnd uh, that the people of zambia had for pf for granted because you you your wife offends you your wife cheats you your wife disappoints you and changes sometimes you look at her character, she has changed. You go back to, to your wife. <laughs> that's what is that's what is happening. That's why people are, are more comfortable with an opposition party than a party in power. All this thing is happening because of greediness. And uh, uh, it's very unfortunate that the president has political advisors, but they are not advising him. They don't teach him politics. I don't blame him. Uh, I don't blame the president because he's, he has never been a politician. He's, he's a businessman, you know. He mean well for the people of Zambia. He really mean well for the people of Zambia. But politically, zero. And no matter how well you mean for the people of Zambia or anybody, if you are politically impotent, you are going to lose it. People of Zambia will discard you and throw you away. They will throw you away. So, I've said it before, and I'm saying it again. Somebody was saying, see, one is now fighting UPND. I've not fought UPND. If I fight UPND, the, if I fight UPND, like, for example, I make an announcement on the main page and say today, I'm coming to talk about UPN or I'm coming to fight UPN. When I do it, in the next one month, HH is going to delete his Facebook page. I'm not, uh, uh, I don't need to even remind you that. The Facebook page of the president, the president is moving freely and so on and enjoying a little bit of support now because we are not fighting we are not talking i've not fought upnd i'm not fighting upnd the only thing that i am requesting is that let the people that fought for the party be empowered this is for the benefit of the party it's not you know it's not like uh, it's for the benefit of the party. If the members of the party are doing well, if they are empowered, then what are we fighting for? The reason why I'm fighting is because the empowerment that's supposed to come to the people that fought for the uh, fought for the for the party are being eaten by few selfish individuals in the party. They are being eaten by friends of the president. I, I said it before. An opportunity come for people to supply fertilizers. These guys that fought for UPND, went, many of them went to bank and borrow money. They have come and they have turned out to supply fertilizer. The first agreement was, okay, 10 of you have uh, won the tender. It even came out, you know, on news. Go and look for a way to deliver the tender. Why these children, why these people were running around looking for a way to deliver the tender? They canceled the process. Now, these guys borrowed money. This, these are UPND members. They borrowed money to tender. And they want tender. You tell them to go and prepare. They have gone to prepare. You yourself canceled the tender, carried the tender, and gave to Alpha Commodity. 
Alpha Commodity is a multi-millionaire. He has been rich for so many years. Why not stick to what was said? Divide this uh, contract into 10. This one get, this one get, this one get, this one get. If this one get 10 million, yeah, another one get 10 million. All of them have UPND people that we are campaigning with them. All of them had UPND cadres that we are campaigning with them. This person goes out of what he made from the fertilizer empower another cadre that cadre empower another cadre another cadre empower another cadre the money is circulating the party is growing people are happy but it was not done what was done was to carry the whole fertilizer deal and give to alpha commodity and the and the uh, 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 other friends in the name of united the fertilizer what 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 that is the deal when, when any time I decide to fight UPND, only that one, only that deal alone, eh, we, we bring UPND down from up, 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 down to nothing. It's even worse. UPND, I, we don't even need to start fighting because when I was fighting PF, PF was a formidable party. It was a party that had structure. And structure of the poor and the many people had already benefited from pf so it was difficult to fight them when i want to fight upnd already as we speak today the party is divided into two i mean into two between the rich and the poor the rich is doing well in the in the party because they are the ones able to go the state house and so on and they get contract the poor is becoming poorer and the majority of the party members are poor all of them are here behind my back if you want i will show you evidence so anytime we decide to bring down upnd it's just one broadcast it will crumble so i'm not fighting them yet i have i am a patient person even pf i was patient with them i gave them you know i gave them time to put things in order i have given upn the time to put things in order what am i crying for is for the benefit of the of the party not for me few people must stop eating the you must open your hand like this let everybody eat that is what politics is all about there is nothing like we did not form form government to eat who is not eating in the party Tell me who is not eating. The ministers, why are they getting salary? Why did they accept to be appointed to become ministers if you didn't form government to eat? Eh? People that are working at state house, are they not eating? Why did they accept the appointment? When poor people come to cry to you, no, this is not why. We didn't, you think we, 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 we won party so that everybody can get a job. You are an idiot for saying that. You won election so that people's life will change. So when people demand for change of life, don't come and tell them you want to eat because you were admiring PF people. Even you leaders, don't let us go deeper. I don't want to. I don't want to come and start fighting you until January when things don't go away. You must change your attitude. Ministers have opened companies with their dear friends with their family and they are eating alone. When an ordinary member go to speak, when an ordinary member go to look for something, no, you, you think that we form government so that you come and eat. We are not PF. There is more eating that is going on. But the thing is that you are eating alone. PF was better because they were eating with the people. The poorest street people, people came from street and became very successful in pf i mean street people in the street the poor uneducated people people who never had hope in pf they got money many of them are doing well today the same money is there but it's circulating among the rich please uh, i don't want to be tempted to start January is the deadline. January is the deadline. What we put our hands together to build, we are going to put our hands together and destroy it. If you decide to eat alone, you will die alone. 
I don't even, uh, to me, personally to me, you know that I don't care about anything. I can fight my own mother. So who is, I, can, who, I can fight anything. Who is who that I cannot fight? I want the right thing to be done. No one will use anyone. If you were planning to say, oh, we have used them and dumped them. <laughs> you can only use and dump uh, people that don't have a voice. You can't use and dump somebody who made you. Or people that made you. You can't do that. If you want to eat, like you are eating now, there is a lot of contracts going on. Uh, and the rest of them, everyone now is swimming in millions of dollars. There is no problem. That is benefit of, you know, investing in politics. When you invest in politics, you eat. But I'm saying, don't eat alone. Remember the people that fought with you. Remember the people that sacrificed with you. If I say that, is it a bad thing? Party members are becoming poorer. Eh? You carry millions and give to your friends. Alpha commodities having contract to supply fertilizer. Fertilizer that he doesn't even have. He's a multi-billionaire. How much has he brought to UPND? How many UPND members and cadres has he empowered? If that thing was distributed to say, you get $10 million, get $10 million, $5 million, $1 million, $20 million, among the UPND members, 20 people are empowered in millions of dollars. They will go, they deliver. Then they will empower others. Like that, everybody is eating. The party is becoming strong. You take stinginess to government, greediness to government, thinking that you are running a personal business, we shall crush it in January. If you don't do the right thing, I swear upon God, Father, put your, start gathering your soldiers. Uh, gather the people that you can pay on social media to talk about me. I don't care. Anything you call me, that's what I am, including those that you have not called me. I am all of them. Anything you say about me, even the one you will say in the next 20 years, I want to tell you in advance that it's true. That is what I am. So prepare to counter what is about to come. Because it will come. We will not allow a government to be run like this. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.